Hey everyone, I'm making this video because a few people asked me to explain a little more in detail how stats exactly works in RPG Builder. And it is true that it could be a little confusing at first when you first start to use it because it's a lot of information and data to put together. But the system is very modular, very customizable, and it's made to be um, possible to create your very own stat without having to code anything. So the first thing we'll be doing is we will be creating a new stat function. And this one is going to be called fire damage. So in this specific video, I'm going to show you how to create three different stat type. It's going to be fire damage. It's going to be a uh, fire resistance and fire penetration. So let's uh, get into it. We created this function. Now you will understand in a bit what it's going to be used for. Very important for your damage type uh, stats, the dam the um, stats name needs to match the function that you want it to be assigned with. So in this case, we have fire damage stats and we will call it fire damage. And um, it's going to be of type damage and the function is going to be fire damage. So here, those two names have to match, that's it. Now we will save this and come back to it uh, in a little bit. So I'm going to filter by damage type. I mean, damage name, uh, fire name, so it's easier. Let's now create the fire resistance one. Let's save and create the uh, penetration. And then I'm going to go over each of those. Perfect. So let's save this. And now we have those three new stats created and ready to be used. The first thing um, I want to go over is go to the fire resistance one and select the type resistance here. I'm going to now save that. So now we'd say that um, we have a fire resistance stat, which is of type resistance, okay? So far, nothing too crazy. Now what is important to go is um, go ahead and select the fire penetration one and select penetration type. And now save it, and that's all you have to do for this one. The way this is going to work, I'm going to show you in order. So. Now we have this fire damage. Let's put ourselves in situation. We are, for example, a fire mage or something, and we just casted a fireball that hits our boss. So we hit the boss with um, our fire ability, you know, so it's going to deal fire damage. In this case, what's happening in the code is that it's going to calculate the damage, right, based on uh, the default values for this ability. And also it's going to check if... Um, Let's, I'm just going to quickly show you here. We have a fireball damage ability, right? So um, here you can select damage type. And right now we only have fire damage because we just added um, this one. And you see that all those abilities are of type fire and will deal fire damage. So when we hit an enemy with the fireball damage uh, ability, but which is having, you know, this effect assigned and this effect has fire damage assigned to it, then it's going to check your fire um, damage stats to see if we should deal more damage if you have some of these stats. So let's filter this again. So what's going to happen is um, it's going to check if this stat has a value. If you have zero fire damage as a stat, then you deal zero bonus damage, right? But if you have, for example, 10, then you're going to deal 10 extra damage. Very important. Once we uh, check that, yes, okay, indeed, this effect has a damage type and it had some stats on it. Now, what we could do also is add a no opposite stats. And in this case, it let us pick the stats of type resistances. So if we hit save here, we now have a, um, an opposite stats on the fire damage one, which means that when we calculate damage for fire damage, it's also going to check if the target that we just hit has a value uh, for this fire resistance stat, which is here. So if this enemy has a um, value of zero of fire resistance, then it has no resistance, right? So um, it's not going to take reduced damage. But it, if it had, for example, 20% fire resistance, then fire damage is going to deal 20% uh, less damage. But it doesn't stop there. If you go to the resistance stat, stat now and go to the opposite stat, you see that here we can pick penetration. So resistances can also have opposite stats. So I'm going to hit save here. And um, what this means is that we first deal a certain amount of fire damage based on the value of the caster on this stat. Then we check if the enemy has a resistance 
uh, from this stat. In this case, the fire resistance, because that's the opposite stat. And then we check if this resistance has an opposite stat, meaning should a certain stat penetrate this armor or resistance? In this case, we see that it has one and it's fire penetration. And then it's going to check the value of the fire penetration from the caster. So I know it's a lot of information, but you see how in-depth the system is. And now it's very quickly going to, um, you know, uh, work all together, do the proper calculation, and that's it. So now the stats are created, and what we could do is go in-game, or rather right now we will go in the items. I'm going to, um, I'm not going to create a new item, I'm just going to add a stats to the helmet. And it's going to um, be fire damage. It's going to add 40, for example, so or even 100. So it's very easy to see the difference. Going to save. And now let's go in game. So let's make a new character. Let's make a sorcerer. I'm going to be learning the uh, fireball ability here and dragging it to my bar. So. If I open my stats now, um, I actually, wait one sec, I forgot to add them to the UI. So to do so, you go to um, combat stats, let's go to the fire type stats. And this one you see the UI category here is, um, this one is going to be magical. You can create your own UI categories in um, here and this will automatically be generating your UI. So once again, fire, the fire damage one, I'm going to show it in the magical. The penetration is also going to be in magical and the resistance is going to be in the defense uh, part of the UI. Great. So let's close it. Let's go back in game. Ah, we already had a character actually, but whatever, it's the same. So um, now if we look at the stats, you see that magical, we have fire damage zero, we have fire penetration zero and fire resistance zero. Let's um, get ourselves the helmet and equip it. You see that now we have a hundred extra fire damage, so that's cool. And um, I'm going to unequip it and first use those abilities. So let's learn the fireball ability here and use it. You see that right now it's dealing um, 92 damage when it's not, you know, having a crit and 230 when it's um, doing a critical hit. If we now equip this helmet, remember that this is giving us a um, 100 bonus fire damage. It's now doing a lot more damage when it crits and um, a lot more damage also, you know, when it's uh, not critting. So that's plus 100 fire damage. That's pretty much um, it. And then something that could be interesting to show you is uh, if we go here and give the dummy some uh, fire resistance, for example. So if you look at the stats here and we set this to 50, we see that now it's taking 50% uh, reduced fire damage. So um, if you know you can simply assign the stats to your mobs your enemy your bosses or your character um, by items abilities or you know by default stats and you will be able to balance and um, add some depth to your game uh, but now you see that uh, as i said this dummy target now has 50 percent reduced fire damage taken right but what if um your player now had also 50 percent uh, fire penetration in this case, it would just go back like uh, before because we neglect the entirety of the resistance of this target because we have 50% um, fire penetration. If we now have 10, it's going to um, ignore only 10%. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. I think that's covering it pretty well, how it works, how they interact with each other. Uh, the last thing I wanted to explain is... Um, that in this case, of course, we looked at, you know, resistance, damage and penetration uh, type of stats, but there are many more. The list you're seeing here, so I'm going to go over it, damage, resistance, penetration. Vitality is um, for anything that is like health and mana. So it has a minimum, a maximum, it goes up, down, and uh, some actions can happen, you know, when it's reaching zero or maximum. 
uh, healing. This is exactly the same as damage, uh, but in this case, instead of having, for example, fire damage, you would have holy healing or natural healing or stuff like that. So you could have elements also for your healing abilities. Absorption. Absorption is uh, the same as resistances, but for healing. So it's the opposite. If you have, for example, 10% holy healing absorption, you're not going to take 10% reduced healing, but instead you're going to take 10% extra healing. So it's, you know, a reversed um, resistance stat. CC power. This is going to increase the power of your uh, crowd control abilities. So if you have 50% CC power, for example, your stance, instead of being two seconds, it's going to be um, three seconds. CC resistance, the same if uh, you were supposed to take a stun of one second, but you had 50% CC resistance, it's only going to stun you for 0.5 seconds. Damage taken, damage dealt, those two are modifiers. So for example, if you have 50% um, extra damage taken, well, you're taking 50% extra damage taken. If you have madness 50%, then you take uh, madness 50% damage taken. So this can be very useful um, for bosses or uh, your ability, let's say you want to make a warrior class, you could give him an ability that's reducing the damage taken by 60%, for example, for the next five seconds or whatever. Healing received and healing done is exactly the same as those two, but for healing. So this is going to make you heal more or less or take more or less healing. Cast speed, pretty straightforward, how fast your abilities are casted. If you have 50% bonus cast speed, an ability that was taking four seconds to cast is now taking two. Crit rate, this is of course, you know, the chance that you have to make a um, critical hit. Base damage type is um, for things such as uh, physical damage and magical damage. We're not talking about elements here, we're talking about the base damage type. Is this, is this ability neutral? In this case, it would be none. Or is this ability of physical uh, source or magical source? And base resistance type is the same. So it would be, for example, it would not be fire resistance, but instead it would be armors or uh, magic resistance, you know? Summon count, also straightforward. Each point in summon count gives you an extra summon um, for your summoning abilities. So if you have four in summon count, you can spawn up to four pets. CD recovering speed, this is how fast your cooldowns are coming back. And global healing, this is more for a, um, for example, a spirit stat. If you would have five in global healing, it will add plus five to all your healing abilities, no matter uh, the healing type that they are. A lifesteal, pretty straightforward. How much uh, of the damage you're dealing, you're healing yourself with. If you have 200% lifesteal, you're going to heal for 200% of the damage you're dealing. And thorn, this is also a straightforward. If your character has, for example, 100% form, it's going to reflect 100% of the damage he's taking to the enemy. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. And this entire list I just uh, went through is what are what is you know predefined and pre-coded for you in RPG Builder. So you just have to select those types and use them in your game. You do not have, of course, to type any uh, line of code for this to work. If you do want your own types, then it's totally possible. You can create your own or you can suggest some in the Discord or uh, in the comments. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's pretty long already. I hope it's much clearer for um, you. Let me know if you still have questions and see you in the next video.